Hi, right, you've joined us here at the Amplify Trading Desk. We've just traded the historic non-farm payroll state coming in at minus 20.5 million, a historic number. Now, whilst that might seem like bad news, the markets have actually reacted in, in, a, in perhaps a different way to what you would expect. I've got a short US bond T-note position on here. It's only a small position. I've been scaling out of the trade since the data came out. You can see on the chart, US stocks are moving slightly higher after that data. The euro versus the dollar is moving lower after that data, as is gold. Gold is really tearing lower down to its pivot level now, um, as is T-notes, which I'm short. So we've got bonds lower, gold lower, the dollar higher, and stocks being supported after what on the face of it would seem like quite a, a negative employment reading for the US economy. I'm going to pass over to my colleague Anthony Chung to explain why that's the case and how you can interpret this type of economic data. Anthony, you've got screen sharing power. Over to you. Thanks, Will. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you mentioned gold. I'm just looking at gold on my chart here. And uh, we broke out of that low that we traded in the overnight Asia Pacific session. And now we've targeted and just hit that level on the high of the fifth. So if it does remain heavy, you've got the pivot level there. And I'd be looking at the, that coinciding with around those highs that were seen on the sixth uh, as a way of managing or exiting that position. Because I know a few of the guys were looking at gold as well today. Uh, but yeah, the, the jobs number, just to reiterate what, um, Will said, I mean, if you're new to markets, you're probably scratching your head a little bit going, wow, this is like the worst job situation we've ever seen. I mean, it dwarfs the financial crisis. The biggest one month job loss in the financial crisis was 800,000, don't forget. And we've just seen minus 20.5 million. It's quite unbelievable. But markets move um, ahead of time. They're forward looking in a sense. And they've had time to acc uh, acclimatize to the fact that we're fully aware of this situation, that how bad layoffs have been in America, given the lockdown put in place, well, pretty much in the middle to late part of March. So remember how markets reacted in March? Super volatile, massive down days. A lot of that was pricing in a lot of the economic reality we've just witnessed. Gold new lows. Yeah, so with the data today, just to surmise, minus 20.5 million was not as bad as expected minus 22 and it certainly was nowhere near as bad as the minus 35 million which was the most pessimistic estimate on the street coupled that with the unemployment rate came in at 14.7 expectations were for 16 the highest estimate was for 22 percent so both those two key metrics were not as bad as expected and also the average hourly earnings i mean if you if you normally look at those they were super high 4.7 percent against expected 0.4 percent now whenever you see a rule here whenever you see a piece of data that throws out an anomaly like that which doesn't really make a lot of sense always ask yourself well why and if i look at this this is the bls's report of change by industry look where all the job losses are they're in the lowest paid quartile of the types of jobs available in america when paid by hourly wages which is in leisure and hospitality the specific area hit the hardest you know the one to watch next month is going to be some of the areas pertaining to the energy market and oil and gas of course given those Anthony, negative prices Anthony if I could just share my, my screen again yeah um, we've just got uh, gold I managed to get a short gold on as well actually just as you were talking there I mean gold moving down there just been filled on some of that gold breaking the pivot level here so this is a really interesting move you as, I, as you quite rightly explained you know this is bad data but not quite as bad as it could have been so we've got these, if you like, safe haven assets such as T-notes and gold grinding lower. I've still got that T-note trade on. We did find support at the pivot level. But what's interesting for me now, Anthony, is U.S. equities. You know, U.S. equities are notoriously the hardest thing to trade over non-farm payrolls. And they've been up, they've been down, they've been up, they've been down. And ultimately, we're sitting here around that R1 level again. Um, but definitely not something to touch U.S. Uh, equities over the data because it could be good news, but then that means interest rates might move higher, which is then bad news for stocks, which are supported by lower interest rates. The much clearer picture, if you have a look across my three charts now, euro dollar lower, that's dollar strength, okay, after this data. That's also moving gold in the same way, the same direction. That's also moving T-notes in the same way. Right now, just approaching the pivot level, I'm about to take one more of the uh, T-note trade off. You can see I've got the bid in the ladder there if that gets filled. Um, there, there's one more gold filled as gold tries to gold broken through the pivot level now. So gold yeah, the, dig, the Dixie's the pivot just level. broken. Well, the Dixie's just got over the high of the day, really, that we've seen. So a bit more weight into the FX pairs. Yeah. 
and you can see that in gold. So I'm just I'm just scaling out of this position in gold as the Dixie strengthens. The Dixie, the dollar index, obviously gold has an inverse relationship to the US dollar as the dollar gets stronger, gold moves lower, the euro dollar moves lower, T notes moves lower. But the type of trader that I am, this is what I like to see. I like to see these correlations between asset classes. So I can tell, actually, look, if T notes do hold up on this pivot level, if T notes find it hard to break, then I really want to get out the rest of my gold. I'm going to take this opportunity because these three assets tend to move in the same direction when there's a shift in expectations of US monetary policy. Um, but that's it from us guys here at Amplify Trading. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short session and a short demonstration. Um, certainly an interesting time to be involved in markets and if you do want to look us up, amplifytraining.com, we look forward to seeing what we can do. Thank you very much for that.